Lehman Brothers, a company that was too big to fail, but did. I felt like I had Muhammad Ali, it hit me, and I've got the referee up above, and he's five, six, you know, seven. I'm it was a knockout punch for Lawrence McDonald. Once a vice president at Lehman, he's written a book, A Colossal Failure of Common Sense, an insider's view of the firm's collapse. Could this have been prevented? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that could have been done to save Lehman. First of all, going back, uh, there were people inside of Lehman Brothers that were calling out warnings, wanting us out of subprime in 2006, 2007. Mm -hmm. One by one by one, these people were silenced. Well, at Lehman Brothers, uh, you either did your job or you basically got taken out. There were a number of people that were absolutely, absolutely squashed like grapes trying to stop this madness. I mean, Lehman Brothers is like a giant uh, aircraft carrier with uh, many different departments. Uh, it, Lehman was never rotten at the core. That's where all the beauty was. She was rotten at the head. When they let Lehman f fail, make no mistake about it, Hank Paulson and his team at Treasury, they put Lehman Brothers' head under water and they watched for the bubbles. This was an execution. You know, our government essentially allowed Lehman Brothers to become an out-of-control monarchy and essentially one deadly, deadly domino. They shouldn't have allowed Lehman Brothers to become that big and that deadly. These people on Wall Street are two steps ahead of the regulators at all turns. It's the bad news bears versus the New York Yankees. We need talented people in the SEC that understand advanced accounting shenanigans. And, and, and we have to fix the SEC, the FDIC, and, and, the, and, it's, and the New York Fed. Tim Geithner was there when this was happening. Our guys essentially, our chief legal counsel, our entire team was essentially just pushed out of the building. They were coming up with ideas, solutions. They thought that the bankruptcy and letting Lehman fail would be such a you know, horrific thing for the global economy that we should at least try to do what they did with Fannie and Freddie, at least try to do what they did with AIG, and at least unwind the risk slowly. Larry, what about risk management? Well, I mean, we, what sorts of lessons have we learned uh, from the crisis on risk management and the need for it, need for more of it? We need to bring it back in just a more in a, in a, in a regulated way with a, with just more oversight. But to go from like six, seven hundred billion to nothing, that's money that's not pumping through the economy, not creating jobs. You think there's another Lehman lurking out there right now? The evolution of 21st century financial products has moved a lot faster than. Uh, the rating agencies can absorb a lot faster than the regulators could absorb and a lot faster than senior management and many firms could absorb. So I think we are vulnerable in the next two to three years, absolutely.